Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a small video on how to boost your FPS in Call of Duty Vanguard. Uh, we're gonna make sure that we have the best setting in Windows, but also we want the best setting in the game. So uh, most of like to have like the most of FPS and also a decent image quality and a very clear visibility also. Uh, you know, it's a competitive game, so we <laughs> we need visibility in this game. So let's start with Windows. First of all, I did a couple of tests. Make sure that your game mode is at on. Last year, I told you guys to remove it, like to disable the game mode. They did a lot of update in a year. Now it's a lot better. So no more stuttering with game mode. Use it. It's really good when you have like a multi-core processor, like a Ryzen one. They're going to make sure that you the, the, the game will use the best core on your CPU. So super important to use that. Xbox Game Bar, I recommend to still disable that. Causing stuttering, artifact, a lot of weird stuff in a lot of games. So remove this. For capture, I recommend to put background recording at off and also recorded audio at off. Another thing that I recommend, don't use any overlay. So the Discord overlay, AMD, Ray, uh, and also NVIDIA highlights and stuff like that. Just remove them, uh, causing also stuttering in the game. So don't use that. If you have the latest version of Windows and you have like an NVIDIA car series 1000 or more recent, you can write graphics setting in your search. Uh, and after that, make sure that you select hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, put this one at on. It will help you a lot uh, when you have like an entry or mid range computer. So three to five percent, uh, it helps a little bit with bottleneck. But if you have like honestly a decent computer or high range computer, uh, it will not change anything in your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, write energy. So you will have your power plan, go to power option. Make sure that you're using balance or high performance, super important. On a desktop computer, normally you will not have an issue with this. It's more for a laptop. I know a lot of people have issue with this and even on my Dell a computer, I had the issue. So I had like some weird power saving eco mode over there. It's it's pretty good because you want to save battery when you use your laptop. But when I was plugging in the, in the wall, uh, it was staying there. But when you are on in the wall, you want to use balance or high performance to make sure that you're using the maximum performance of your CPU and your GPU. So really important to look at this. Another thing that I recommend, your driver. So make sure that you have the latest driver, AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel. If you have like uh, you're using an integrated GPU on your CPU, Go on their website, make sure that you download the latest version. Uh, Call of Duty Vanguard is really big, AAA game. So, uh, Ready, AMD, NVIDIA, they, they're launching dedicated um, driver for that. So, you can expect 5 to 7% boost in your FPS. Also, if you have like weird glitch, crashes, and stuff like that, uh, for sure, it's going to help. Don't use the uh, just Windows update to update your driver. They will just provide you a generic driver to make sure that your monitor is showing what it needs to show, but it's not optimization. So this is pretty much it, guys, for Windows. Now let's go inside of the game. I'm going to show you what to modify to make sure that you have the most of FPS, but also a really good visibility. So now in the game. So first of all, display mode, make sure that you're using full screen. I did a couple of tests between uh, Window and Borderless. A lot of stuttering in Borderless, so really important to play full screen. After that, make sure that you have your proper monitor, so normally you will see it. Refresh rate, uh, by default it was at 60, so people who are using uh, high refresh rate, make sure that you're, uh, you're using the proper one. So for me it was 170, if you have 240, whatever, just make sure that you're using your refresh rate. Uh, for VSync, I'm putting this one at off. I'm using the FreeSync on my monitor. So if you're using FreeSync, G-Sync, go with off over here. Um, if you you don't have those technology, really depend what you want. Uh, if VSync normally will create input lag. And uh, if you don't have too much tiering when you remove VSync, just remove your FreeSync. Uh, VSync, sorry. But uh, if you don't really care about it and you don't like screen tiering, uh, just put your VSync at on, and honestly, it will add like a little bit more input lag, but it's not a big deal. After that, uh, you have the NVIDIA Reflex low latency. If you have an NVIDIA video card, 
go with enable plus boost. It's a bit weird in the beta. Uh, I'm using a Radeon card. Normally, when you have a Radeon video card, this is in gray, so it doesn't work. But still, it's weird that I can't like choose it. But uh, if you have any NVIDIA card, go for it. For your display resolution, I recommend to use the native resolution of your monitor. So if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have 1080p, go 1080p. Uh, don't lower your resolution. I will show you um, how to do it. I recommend to use render scale. Uh, so you can low downscale a little bit your game to have more FPS if you're struggling. But don't touch your resolution. After that, focus mode. Make sure that focus mode is at off. And also focus mode opacity needs to be at zero. For the people who are using a laptop, make sure that you're seeing your video card over here. Sometimes you have like a dedicated GPU on your laptop, but also you have an iGPU. And for a reason, whatever reason, like the game is messed up and they're using your iGPU. So you should see your GPU over here. On demand texture streaming, put this one at on. After that, we're going in the quality section. So the render resolution by default will be at 70. Normally, you should play at 100. It should be the default. I don't know. It's I think it's a bug on any Call of Duty. I always had this issue. I added this issue on my NVIDIA card, my Radeon card. So make sure that you're playing at 100. After the old guide, if you're still struggling with your FPS, go with something like 90. Uh, don't go too low with this because your image will be blurry like this. For VRAM usage uh, target, make sure that you're using 90. After that, texture resolution. I recommend to you, it really depends on your VRAM. Me, I'm using I. So you need to look at your VRAM here. If you have like space, just go for it. If, for sure, if you have like a 3 gig VRAM on your video card, go with medium. Low, if you have like uh, something like 2 gig. And it, even less than 2 gig, you should definitely play at very low. So let go I over here. Particle quality level, I recommend to use low. It's a good gap. Honestly, between very low and low, I didn't see any difference in my FPS. So high to low, you can get a nice 3% boost. Particle resolution, you can get another 2 to 3% boost over here. Bullet and pack and spray, I'm using on because I want to see where I'm shooting. And honestly, it doesn't have a big impact on your FPS. Like maybe sometimes 1%, but it's not a huge deal. Tessellation, I recommend Nerby only. Again, not a big impact on your FPS, so good it's cool to use it at Nerby. Um, level of detail, those one, low, low. Level of detail, distance quality also at low. Those one will give you a nice 7% boost in your FPS, so super important to go with that. And the volumetric quality level, this one gives you a lot of FPS. High to low, you can get a nice 6% boost in your FPS. After that, we will be in the big part, the shadow and the lighting section. This one is, is huge. So the shadow map resolution, I recommend to go with low with the sun shadow SCAD. Uh, a nice 4% boost in your FPS here. I recommend to turn on your cash spot shadow. It will help you. And as, after that, you can like uh, select how much cash you want for your spot. If you have a nice amount of VRAM, you can definitely go with medium here. If you have not a, a lot of VRAM, go with low. So we did that. After that, cache sun uh, shadows, spot shadows quality, particle lighting, ambient inclusion, GT ambient inclusion, and screen play, space reflection. I recommend to use low, 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 and off. Those ones will give you another 15% boost in your FPS. So really important, all this section. It's not a huge deal when you're playing a multiplayer game. Uh, you will have a nice visibility, less shadows, a lot more FPS uh, with those settings. After that, you have the post-processing effect. Uh, really weird here, you can disable your uh, anti-aliasing. So use the SMAA to T2X for now. Uh, and for the filmic string, I recommend to use zero. One more thing, it's the uh, fill of view. Me, I'm playing at 90. It really depends what you normally use in the, in the game. But... If you look at this, when you're playing at 120, you have to render a lot more in front of you. So if you're uh, playing on, a, I don't know, a laptop, integrate video card, an old computer, don't go too crazy with what you feel of you. It will create a lot of stuttering and stuff like that. So uh, go with something like 80. It will help you with your FPS. Three last setting, the world motion blur. By default, it's at on. You don't want to use that. Here, what it's looking when you move fast, everything comes like blurry. So... 
go with off weapon same thing you want to remove that and you don't want to use any depth of field in a competitive shooter so this is pretty much it for the guide if you have any question just comment in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace